anyway, this morning, I just want to show you guys, um, what's left of, um, most of the stuff from the summer containers, and I'm going to start switching some of this stuff over that stopped growing and producing to, uh, wintery fall kind of stuff, but I want to show you what I did. Um, you see this squash right here and how it's, like, blighting all out? And there's another one that I left alone and just, you know, kind of see what happens. Oh, look, there's a bee. And it's kind of chilly out here today, too. Leave me alone, bee. But anyway, you see the leaves there? And the dead and dying ones? Okay, so I cut off the dead and dying ones of this one. And these right here were starting to turn. And just so I could have, like, a marker, you know, on this thing and, you know, what it would look like if I hadn't treated it. See that one right there? I did not, on purpose, treat that one at all. I used tea tree oil, neem oil. I used just a couple of spoonfuls of tea tree oil. Um, neem oil, which I used a spoonful of that, and then a gallon of water, and I mixed them all together with just a drop of dish detergent, and I sprayed back and forth, like, underneath the leaves and stuff, and you can see I had to spray each leaf because this thing is producing flowers, and the bees were all over it that day, and I had to, you know, get really close to the leaves to, you know, make sure that the bees didn't do this. This was a week ago. And you can see this one's pretty much dead. I need to go ahead and cut it off. And it didn't spread. The rest of them just stopped. They stopped. They, I mean, all of them looked like this whenever I treated them. And the neem oil by itself seems to work on the tomatoes, but it didn't work on the squash. But then, yeah... That's pretty interesting to me to, to learn that. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm messing with, you know, different things that won't, like, burn the leaves in this hot sun. Because it still gets about 90 degrees during the day. And, let's see. I think it's probably in the 50s or 60s right now. It's really chilly out here. 